Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another video. And so I still have like just so much Battlegrounds gameplay recorded from last season. So I was finally get going through a bunch of it. And I wanted to make this video showing off my my MVP for the entire uh, meta, the final meta, Crimmy's your best shot. And that's Kitty Pride. We took her to rank 5. And man, like if I saw Kitty, I would draft her no matter what. If she came up, I would pick her. It was as simple as that. She was that good. And this video is going to show you why we take all different kinds of matchups. Uh, some of the biggest and best defenders that were uh, available in Crimmage Best Shot and Kitty put in work on a lot of them. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, and I also, like I said, I still have a lot of gameplay. So I think what I'm going to do is upload like one more video and I'm just going to include uh, like five matches. Uh, it would be against extremely high level players. It would be against Zach, Bureau Man, KT1, and Fintech. If you want to see a big video like that of just like the highest level of Battlegrounds gameplay you could ask for, let me know uh, and I'll get that uploaded. But all right, just getting started here, we have a Havoc. So I only did this matchup one single time in, in, in a ranked match. I tried it a couple times in a friendly, and uh, this by far was my best ever attempt doing the matchup here. Um, so, you know, in theory, it's my very first time I did it, and, and again, in theory, it should work, you know, it just needs to be phasing when the plasma would detonate. <laughs> so, you know, in theory, it sounds easy. In, in practice, though, it's a little trickier, because every time we crit, um, we're, we're gaining more of those charges. Not every time, but uh, most of the time when we're critting. So, really, so here, you know, I'm hiding in phase, so it, it detonates at a good time. It's, it's very stressful though, it's extremely stressful, and after this, I started just banning Havoc, because I just I had enough of this guy, he's very annoying. Um, I, I probably should have taken him to rank 4 myself, that's what I should have done. Uh, but again, we're close to 10, so go ahead, drop a special 2, hide in our phase, boom, get off another special 2. You can see, it's not even doing that much damage, this is rank 5 kitty with suicides. The thing against Havoc here is what he does is he lowers the critical damage that he takes. So your crits just don't do as much damage, which is what made what made Havoc one of the reasons why he's such a good defender for this meta, of course. You know, the other reason being his pl plasma detonations, and also people run the inequity mastery, so the more debuffs on you, the less damage you do. So you see we come out of there, 81 seconds, almost full health, 48,000 points, and it's not even good enough. So that was the only time I successfully did the Havoc matchup, and it wasn't even good enough. Um, so again, after this, like I just started banning Havoc when I saw him, because he's just so annoying. And I, I wasn't running Inequity as well, so I couldn't take advantage of such strategies because of the mastery setup that I wanted to run. Uh, I just didn't have enough points for Despair or Inequity, which might sound silly, but hey, I made top 8, so my mastery setup, ultimately, it worked for me, and that's all that matters. You need to have a mastery setup that works for you. It doesn't matter if other people think it's weird or bad or if other people wouldn't use it. All that matters is that you use it and can make it work. And so, next up here, we have a Mangog. So, right there, you see, that's why I like fighting Mangog with Kitty. Just need to run into his special 2 with the phase, and we take absolutely zero damage from it. So right here, it was kind of unfortunate he blocked that, but we still crit through the block, and our passive incinerate still applied through the block, so it actually ended up being not too big of a deal. Uh, right there, I didn't want him to throw a special 2 yet, I wanted to get to my special 2, um, then bait his run into it, and then immediately throw mine, so I could get above the 20 prowess cap, but things didn't quite line up that way. Uh, but we still mitigated the damage, so it's all good here. I'm just trying to get back to that special 2. I know this is going to rip because we throw a special 1 first. We built up our temperature, so that increases our prowess, potency. And yeah, there goes Mangog. No problem. A little over a minute, but full yellow bar. So it felt really, really great on that one. I'm um, going to have a bunch more Mystic Fights at the end. Some really sick ones. So here we have Karate Mike. So a little friendly. is 565 Baron Zemo. So I think this was like on the night that I took my kitty. Uh, up to rank five and i was just looking to you know get some practice what better what better place to test than against a rank five baron zemo and karate mike zemo as well you know this, this isn't just anyone's baron zemo this is the best baron zemo in the game this is karate mike's so everything's going pretty great so far i'm just going to take my time and bait up the special ones um i can bait a special i can evade special two pretty well actually but um the special one is just so easy like there's no risk at all so here i just Go for it here. I don't even throw it while phasing. Um, 
<laughs> so yeah, I kind of lost out on some health there, not finishing full yellow, down to 95%. But that was 28 seconds, 29, 29 seconds. And my expiry was 38 seconds. So uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was a fun one. It was a fun one. Now, next up here, this is my favorite clip of this entire video. So this is me and Andy, Andrew the Rough, you know, a fellow top eight. We, I just took my kitty to rank five. He's had kitty at rank five for a while and we're doing a race. So Nick Fury's on defense. His is rank four, mine is rank five, but at the end of the day, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Um, so I'm trying to, this was my first Nick Fury fight with Kitty as a as a rank five. You know, of course I've done this fight a ton with her at rank four, but this is the first time at rank five. So I, I was wondering, you know, like what, what should I do? Should I go for special one? Um, but at rank five, I'm like, you know, maybe I don't need it. Maybe just one, one fat special two will be enough here at the first light. And it is, you know, even if this Nick was rank five, that special two still would have been enough to take care of the first life. We had a ton of overkill. So, you know, the rank difference, not really very important here. When one special two is going to be killing either way, because we're running suicides. So now we just need to get back to another special two and bonus as fast as I can here. Unfortunately, I get caught by his special one. That's definitely going to kill some time. But however, it did, um, it did give us some power. So here I throw the special two without the crit passive because I'm like, I, I don't have time. I need to just throw this right now. And that was 100% the right decision there. Because look how close this is, bro. 50,464, 50,419. A 45-point difference. <laughs> and... Yeah, and we finished the exact same time. The only difference was he finished with 99.7% HP. The 45 points. <laughs> like, uh, wow. What an insane fight. We literally had the exact same time. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. I could have shaved off a couple of seconds. You know, if I didn't get hit by that special one, maybe. But at the same time, it did give me power. But, uh, yeah. That was, that was a sick fight, man. That was so awesome. Uh, we both played that fight extremely well. All right, next up here we have Andrew the, uh, Andrew the Rough again. Uh, here's his rank four SIG 200 Domino. So I was, this was my first time fighting Domino with Kitty in this meta, and uh, this matchup actually really came into play later on in the season on like one of the, the last, yeah, the last night. Um, I was in a situation actually against FinTech. I've only fought FinTech once this entire uh, season, and it was on the, the, the last night. And I got into the situation where I had to fight Domino with Kitty. So the fact that I had already done this matchup, you know, gave me a little bit of confidence going into that. And again, that will be one of the matchups featured in that big epic video I was talking about. So boom. Domino rank four got rinsed by Kitty in this meta. No problems. 40 seconds, full health. 51,640. Like, could not have gone better. Could not have gone better. I'm like, okay, you know, that's good to know. Kitty is a Domino counter. Next up here, we have a match against Biwi uh, when he was in Celestial 4, and I was in Celestial 5. Must have been probably close. This must have been like right before I got into Celestial 4. Because I, once I got into there, I held it for like a week, and then I only fell out on like the last night again when, uh, yeah, I had a bit of a, a tilt. But yeah, Wong here, gonna go ahead and knock him down, and then bait this out. I'm gonna run into it. So boom, we take no damage from that right there. Uh, don't want to take any of that block damage, you know, from these uh, these seven star champions. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the special two here. I whiffed on the first part, kind of annoying. Uh, and then here again, he's gonna throw another special two. So this one I end up eating. That's some hefty block damage. You know, I don't want to be taking that. Uh, so we have to just get back in our phase and just try to heal back as much as we can. I just want to be activating my phase as much as possible. Because the more I activate phase, the more healing that I'm getting. And here I just rinse the special two and it's enough to kill him. So he healed back a bit, got to 93% HP. And I'm pretty sure that was enough to win us this round. Yeah. 49,300 points. Not bad against a rank two Wongers. Not too bad. All right, next up here we have a seven star rank two Korg. Almost 300,000 HP. This will be fun. As soon as I saw this Korg get placed down, I got excited. I'm like, oh, this is... Really good test for uh for that rank five kitty. I'm pretty sure this was like um not too Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just took her up again on the same day. So I got in some practice with her though and some of those friendlies against Karate Mike and Andy and now I was really taking her first spin. 
in some ranked matches, and oh my goodness. Once I saw this Korg, I was like, yes, this is going to be such a good testing. So, everything's going really, really great so far. Um, we've gotten off a special one, so that's going to go ahead and make sure that our special two just does fat damage. Here we're able to activate our phase, so we can go ahead and bypass all the thorns damage from his rock stacks using medium attacks. And then here we can just go ahead and let this rip. Full yellow bar, guaranteed crits. That's a rank two Korg. Dead in how long was that? Dude. 45 seconds. Yeah, the fight literally went like perfect. That that was such a dope fight. Uh, and Dab here, you see, he's about to come out right now. Didn't have a whole lot of room for error there. He crushed my sassy. That's pretty impressive. All right. So next up, we have another uh, match against Andy. Just a friendly. So this is his rank five thing, and we're gonna be using Kitty here. So. Basically, the plan I opted for was just basic combos. Just basic combos, because if I use a special here, it's definitely going to trigger things protection. Uh, in hindsight, maybe I could have thrown a special one, and then maybe thrown a special three to try to get like the finish. Uh, just because, you know, throwing a special one would have made, gave us some temperature, and would have made our special three hit way harder. So maybe that could have been a play, but I mean, things are going pretty great here so far. We've already taken off half of his health. We still have a minute 20 on the clock. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to keep comboing. So just intercept and keep comboing. And, you know, the damage really does add up. Uh, I just need to make sure I'm still managing his rock stacks. Right there, he parried me. <laughs> so he gained five rock stacks. Uh, that was interesting. Of course, when we're in our phase, you know, we're immune to damage. Plus, we're also stun immune. So no worries about getting parried. You can also just run into special attacks like that. You know, it's very fun. Um, so boom, bam, there we go. Push him back to 15 rock stacks again. Get rid of the protection. Just need to bait this. And then one more round of combos. And this fight should be over. And we definitely are running up the clock. Uh, but it's a rank five thing. You know, it can, it can only be so fast. And we're finishing with full health, you know, which is the important thing. Especially when you have an Iceman on defense. So yeah, almost 48,000 points. You know, not too bad against rank 5 thing with an unideal counter. Alright, next up here we have... Uh, oh yeah, this was against Nagase. So, put a rank 2 Storm Pyramid X on defense. And I wasn't sure who to use. So I'm like, I guess Kitty? You know, if we can build her up um, and drop a fat special too, you know, it won't be glanced. Should do some good damage. But man, it's so hard to just even build prowess here to activate phase. Like this fight's already 20 seconds in and I only have three prowess so far, which is not good. Uh, but now that we're getting some intercepts, you know, we're getting some crits here. I just want to throw the special one off because it's not going to glance. It's going to go ahead and also activate some of those passive incinerates uh, to get our temperature up so that I can hopefully end this with a special two. You can see like I'm intercepting and I'm just not getting the prowess. You know, Kitty, when she intercepts, she's supposed to get two prowess, but because it's glancing, I'm, I'm not getting them, which I'm still per still performing the intercept. So like, I feel like I should be getting the prowess still. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but yeah, uh, Storm Pyramid, she's annoying. Um, so here, I just throw the special. I was only at like 11 prowess. He hit me one time, so that put us to 15 prowess. And then, yeah, it, and then it ripped. And you can see again, look how freaking close this is. Look how close this is. Absurdly close. Absurdly close. It's unreal. We did not have any margin for error there. Um, man. That was, I, had, I had so many matches like that. They just came down to the wire. Like one tiny two, three second mistake. And it's over. Like, it's crazy. Alright, next up here we have Biroman's Killmonger. So this is an interesting one. I'm just going to go ahead and parry three times so that I can get my prowess that way so that I can activate my phase. And then once I do that, you know, I will be immune to any of his reverberation damage uh, as long as I'm hitting him well in phase. So that's the plan. So everything is going good now. I'm going to go ahead and toss this special one. Yep, but I don't want to toss that special one until he's at a special two. Because special two is easy to bait, and it just gives him some indestructible charges, which are totally fine. We get rid of those in three hits, and bada bang, bada boom, we're back to the action. Everything's going great. Um, yeah, everything's going fantastic here. And here, I'm just going to rip the special. I don't even bother baiting out another special two. Uh, it doesn't quite kill, but we throw the striker, and then he dies. <laughs> one percent. He's holding on for dear life. 
Um, and yeah, that's a rank two Killmonger down 47 seconds, 50,811 points. Probably the, the, the highest amount of points I've put, I put up against Killmonger, maybe the entire meta. Uh, I know I had some 50Ks with CGR, but I don't think they were higher than that. So, hey man, Kitty absolutely crushed that. That was definitely my, I, I've tried that fight before too. Um, rank two Killmonger is kind of, I won't say common, but you see him a fair bit. Um, and yeah, that was definitely the best fight I had on him, especially with Kitty. So next up here, we're facing Nagase again. I'd say Nagase was the person that I matched the most last season. Maybe aside from, like, Biro Man. Maybe even more than Biro Man, though. Like, Nagase, me and him, I just matched him. One day, I matched him, like, five or six times. And, like, two of them were back-to-back. -back. Like, it was... We, I played him so much, so much. And so many of our matches just were so, so close, so down to the wire. Um, and, yeah, so here's his Mephisto. So... Kitty against Mephisto, kind of hit or miss, I find. Uh, sometimes it goes extremely well, sometimes it goes kind of poor, sometimes it's kind of slow. So this one was my fastest ever fight against Mephisto with Kitty. I think it ends up clocking at like 40, 45 seconds. So everything's going really, really great at, at this point. And I just want to keep comboing to kill him here. Yeah, so it's 40, 45 seconds. Uh, I think I also had a 47 seconds, and I had like full health, but this one was was slightly faster. You can see Nagase crushed my my Nick Fury, rank five Nick, with Angela. 53 seconds. That's very very impressive. It's very impressive stuff there. All right, next up here, we're against Na, a uh, Kabam developer here, and we're fighting rank two Bishop. So. I think Kitty Pride is one of the absolute best bishop counters. Uh, here you see we're taking a bunch of damage at the start though. It's not good, so I'm right here, I'm just gonna hit his block. Boom, there we go, that gets rid of the bleed on him, which was the reason why we were taking damage. But yeah, I think Kitty is like a, a top, top three bishop counter. Um, because you can just do that. You can phase through his entire special one, and then he's trying to apply incinerates to you. And that's just going to give you temperature so that your special two hits even harder. So everything's going really great at this point. I just uh, want to get off a of special two here. Drop that. Boom. Does fat, fat damage. And But he's not quite dead. So I just want to get to three prowess at least so I can phase. Boom. Bake the special two. I'm going to run into it just like that. And then throw my special one here. Boom. That was a text, textbook bishop fight. Um, 50 seconds. 50,800 points. I mean, Nod did great against Hulkling, but he took some chip damage. He was one second faster than us, but we f we had that full yellow bar. Um, so yeah, Kitty ended up clutching that, uh, and it's good because I you you notice that one part in that match, um, he throws a special one I didn't want him to, but I dash into it again like mid special to activate a fresh phase. That's something that uh, feels very very weird to do with Kitty, uh, but luckily I've had some. A fair bit of practice against bishop in the past so kind of used to it, it still feels really weird and sketchy to do but i have a little i'm a little bit used to it at least so i think that's gonna be it for uh every every class type except mystic i think the rest of the fights are all just against the mystic chance so i think we have dragon man up first here then i think we have a man thing um and then i think we have a sassy might be one other fight too that i'm forgetting yeah, so this is a Rafa. This is uh, a rank two dragon man. So you're gonna go ahead and uh, drop the special one so that we can um uh, this right here. You see, I'm just gonna run into his special two. That's what I love about Kitty Man. When they're special that I'm not the best at evading, I you know I can just run right into them and take no damage. So everything's going really great here. I just need an intercept. Uh he's not wanting to give it here. Just need an intercept, but he, he doesn't want to do it. So here I'm just gonna run in. I think I'm just gonna throw my special here. No, I'm not. I really wanted to get the guaranteed crits here. So boom, there we go. Got him now. And drop it. I mean, with Kitty, you know, you have your your crit chance is highly increased when phasing, but you know, seven stars do have a challenger rating. So you know, that in the long run, that's gonna lower your crit rating. So you know, it's just you just want to throw that special too with the guaranteed crits. So it's guaranteed crits you know like you don't you don't want to chance it with yeah my crit rate's high if i just throw this while phasing it should kill because sometimes you just get unlucky so here we have man thing again against rough i'm pretty sure this is just rank four um but man thing was one of the biggest baddest defenders i'd say in all of crit me with your best shot i'd say man thing is top three for sure i'd say nova also top three 
Um, so yeah, I ended up fighting a lot of Novas and a lot of Man Things. And, um, you know, you don't always get a counter. You don't always get a counter. So, <laughs> here we're using Kitty. You know, of course, I'd love to have Hulk, Titania, Joe Fix It, you know, any of my good Man Thing counters, but sometimes you just, you don't have them. So you, you, you gotta, you gotta find another way. Kitty, Kitty is another way. Um, she's a lot better at fighting Man Thing outside of this meta. Because, you know, for example, there I just ran into a special 2, but he took no damage, because he only takes damage from critical hits. Uh, but, you know, outside of this meta, he would have taken a bunch of damage for hitting into my phase there and missing. Um, also, you know, um, I, when I'm fighting Man-Thing with Kitty, I like to just kind of spam special 1s, because then you get the incinerate damage just ticking. But again, there is no incinerate damage. You can apply incinerates, but they don't deal any actual damage here. So in this in this matchup, I was just opting to throw special twos, uh, which I don't even know if that was the right play. I think special one might have been better, so we could you know, increase our temperature and then just get fatter special twos. Uh, we can see like the poisons and the armor breaks; they are accumulating. They are accumulating, so I need to maintain my phase again as much as possible to mitigate that damage. And again, I'm also just trying to intercept. Get those guaranteed crits there we go so I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this and i don't think it's quite gonna kill yeah eight percent left but here we go for it and we get lucky our, our our crit passive expired there we weren't even phasing but we got some lucky crits so we took them down took man thing down we ended up winning the round two because i had void on defense so <laughs> it's just a friendly but you know it was clutch okay next up here uh, we're facing a guy named Next. So, oh yeah, this is the one I forgot. We have a Rintra. So, uh, yeah, Rintra was also, you know, a fairly good defender. Rintra's always a fairly good defender. You know, usually he's a really good defender. And so, I didn't use Kitty. I, I think this might have been, like, my first time trying Kitty against Rintra. But, like, I I know I know when it's, like, possible. And I think I had seen other people do it. So, here I just throw a special one. Uh, to, you know, of course, get our temperature to open up. Here, I'm just going to hit his block, hit some crits through the block, and, you know, go ahead and bait this special. There we go. Uh, everything's going really great so far. I basically just need to get to my special 2 now, and the fight should be over. Um, yeah, and just, of course, you know, try to manage uh, Rintra's charges um, so he doesn't go unstoppable. Here, knock him down. You know, his charges are kind of getting up there. But, you know, we still got tons of time left. I got Sassy on defense. You know, I'm thinking, man, we are good. Like, this is basically a dub. So here, go ahead, throw the special. But you'll see, it doesn't kill there because his back was against the wall. He activates the unstoppable, and then he regens. So he just regened a bunch of my special 2 damage. I'm like, bro, what, what, why is Rintra? Why? 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 And so now we don't have as much time. I'm still thinking we're fine. You know, I still have full health, and boom, the fight's over. Now, I still think I won this, but I did not. If that special 2 would have killed, for sure he would have won. And if he wasn't against the wall, it would have killed. But no, he regened. Because he was against the wall, and he sure he didn't stop. So, that was lame. Stupid Rintra. But yeah, Kitty is definitely a solid Rintra counter. I'd say, probably even outside of this meta. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, and then, yeah, this is my very final fight. So, <laughs> let's let, let's pause for a sec here. What happened? My game crashed, fighting a Sasquatch. So, load back in. And I have... 52 seconds and of course there's still takes time to run so by the time i can actually input something less than 50 seconds to fight a rank 2 sasquatch now i've fought sasquatch actually a fair bit with kitty um kitty was kind of like my comfort option for for man uh, for sasquatch uh because i could i could usually finish with full health uh usually it, I, I don't i've never one time Kill the Sasquatch in under a minute. Maybe, maybe once, but it was like perfect Wrath RNG triggering, and it was like, you know, not something is going to happen two times in a row. So going in here, you know, I thought I was just over. I thought this was a loss, but, you know, I'm still going to give it a try. Got 50 seconds. Let's see what I can do. You know, let's 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 see what I can do. So start the fight, kind of slow, but boom. We get off some intercepts. We get uh, the precisions going. We're getting in here. So going to go ahead immediately toss that special one gonna push him to a special two bait that immediately there we go all right need an intercept need an intercept here come on bro i like my my best um combat strategy that i found uh is to do two hit combos medium light and then dash back and go for a light intercept 
that's what I found to be to work the best for me personally. So boom, you see, dude, let's pause for a second here. We have less than 10 seconds left. He has 58, more than half of his health, but he just triggered Wrath of Tanarak. As we're about to drop the special too. <laughs> less than 10 seconds, bro. Watch his health bar. <laughs> so boom, 30k, 23k, 23k, 38k, 38k, 4, 3, 2, 1, striker, dead. Got him? And we won, dude, somehow. He had Joe against Man Thing. I thought for sure that was a loss. But, um, yeah, that's a rank 5 Man Thing. Rank 5 Man Thing really, really paid off, dude. That rank up paid dividends. And, yeah, that's the final fight I have for you guys. That was my MVP of Crit Me With Your Best Shot, Kitty Pride. Just incredible just incredible and shout out to the the legend celebration event uh because i was able to get the third mutant catalyst that i needed to take her to rank five from the selector you know when i chose my uh, ebony maw who also put in a lot of work really glad i picked up that maw uh, i won a lot of defensive rounds with him so yeah shout out to, to maw shout out to that legends event uh that t6 cc selector just came in so clutch i only had rank five kitty i'd say i think it was like for the last week for the first week of Crit Me With Your Best Shot, she was rank 4. But for that last week, had her at rank 5. And man, did she put in work. So guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for this video. My biggest MVP of Crit Me With Your Best Shot, Kitty Pride, Just such an incredible champion. One of the most busted and overpowered champions in the entire game. But I love her. That's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, I would really appreciate a like rating. Subscribe if you want to see more. Peace out.